right, everyone, we are at South by Southwest and I'm here with Gabby from Factory 360. Gabby, let's talk about South by Southwest. Yes, I'm excited to be here. I think post COVID, it's great to see the momentum back in Austin. And I predicted this. I said that it was going to be insanely busy. Um, you know, we had a lot of conversations with clients, uh, a lot of people saying, it's over, that South by, you know, was going to be not what it used to be. And I predicted that it was going to be packed and relevant again. And I, I think it, it, it is exactly that. So I'm glad to be here. I'm glad to be a part of it. And I think South by does great from not only trends, but also talking about topics that are important to, um, you know, from a society perspective, but where it intersects with technology and marketing as well. So I'm just really excited to be here. Perfect. So what do you see that's trending this year? Um, so lots of activations as usual. I, I own Factory 360, which is an experiential agency. So that's really exciting to see what other brands are doing. I think a lot of entertainment. Um, I think maybe more than I've seen in the past. Um, I think it's in the past it was more, you see a lot of CPG, um, a lot of auto tech, a lot of tech. I would say the thing that I've seen less is um, less tech um, activations. Um, and a lot more entertainment um, activations. I mean, I think we all know why that's happening. It's a um, reflection of what's happening within the economy. But I'd say those are the things that I'm seeing here. Um, so yeah, excited to um, continue to go to a lot more panels and learn about what um, everyone's doing. Okay, so give me, I know we're really early in the South by Southwest. Give me two or three takeaways that you've learned while being here so far. So I think um, it's been interesting to talk, uh, hear panels related to social media. Um, you know, yesterday there was a speaker that was talking about Snapchat and the relevancy of Snapchat. Um, I think there's a lot of talk around TikTok and uh, aversion to TikTok um, for political reasons. So it's interesting to hear how brands are engaging still with all the all the social media apps. I think. It's interesting to hear how relevant still Snapchat is, whereas I would have, um, I think that that was not as obvious for me. Um, and then um, other things I've learned is how uh, much uh, building has happening in Austin. There's cranes everywhere. I, I went, I, last time I was here, I went to East Austin and it's a completely different city. And uh, I think there's good and bad in that, but just the development within Austin is really tremendous. Um, and then lastly, um, I'd say that, um, you know, I am surprised at the lack of uh, commitment to sustainability that I'm seeing um, at venues and, and when I go around. I still see a lot of plastic usage. I see a lot of um, non-reusable products being used. So that's an area that I think there's still a lot of opportunity. And that as event producers, that should be a commitment that we have that we're thinking about those things when we, um, you know, um, go to market. Excellent. So sustainability is a hot topic. It should be. For me. I would say, I don't know that, you know, um, I haven't spent a lot of time at the conference. I've been doing all the auxiliary events. So, but yes, I think right. it is a hot topic. Right, but, but off air a minute ago, you mentioned one way that you're fighting sustainability yes. um, through a product that you, you buy or you encourage your, your clients to purchase. Tell us about that. Yeah, I think because we were talking about swag and, you know, there was a big movement about a year ago to really go no swag or to give people options on which swag to decide on so that they're not getting things they didn't want. And or if you you can opt out of the swag and then the money goes to a charity. So there's been all sorts of attempts to um, really uh, reduce waste in that space. What we did is we are giving clients um, and partners uh, Yeti water bottles, uh, branded Yeti water bottles, and we did it for holiday gifts for all of our clients. And they responded with um, a lot of enthusiasm uh, because it is a quality product as opposed to just a lot of those reusable water bottles. Uh, but personally, I've not purchased a plastic water bottle in three to four years, which I'm very proud of. So I just want to encourage others to do the same.